I'm so happy and grateful to have been invited to share my story with the women of the South Bay Women's Conference today. Sherry Fink is the number one best-selling, award-winning children's author, the creator of the whimsical world. Her mission is to inspire and delight children while planting seeds of self-esteem that can have lifelong benefit. To be able to be the closing keynote meant so much to me. And I'm so honored to be here with you this afternoon. And I really respect and admire the women who are here and making a huge difference in the world. The little rose didn't quite fit in and never understood why the other plants treated her differently. She hoped that she could be just like them when she grew up. Now, this is my story, but it's really all of our story because inside each of you just like me there's a little rose she's a, an awesome lady very kindred spirit and uh, her perseverance is just amazing i grew up in a very small town so i pretty much created my own little world i created my own stories i did my own art because if you want to write a book if you never ever create the time to write it it's never going to be in your hands i felt like i would do anything to change this circumstance. And at that moment, this idea came to me about a little rose that grows up in a weed bed and thinks that she's the weed. It just made me feel that you never give up and always be true to yourself and just keep going for your dreams. Just do whatever it takes. Just get it done and don't let anybody basically tell you you can't do it. That little girl writing a book. She came up to me. She said, I started writing a book when I was seven, but I haven't touched it in two years. I'm inspired to write now. It's about bullying. Sherry made her believe in herself that she could do it. Her book came out in February. She came to see me at this festival last year. Well, she signed her books and sold her books at that festival this year. This is a girl with a fire in her belly, and I love that. And she inspired me because I, too, would like to write a book myself. She's an awesome, awesome, sweet, genuine, authentic woman. I was so inspired, and I was crying because her stories were so real. So many people coming up with hugs and tears and sharing their story with me is just so powerful and I'm very, very grateful. You know, her story is so inspirational. It makes you feel you can do anything you want to do. Every single one of us has dreams and ambitions and wants to make a difference. And why wouldn't we do whatever it took for those to come true?